The drug naltrexone, which is used for opiate addiction in people, it's now successfully being used to treat cancer in our dogs and in people. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. The drug naltrexone, it's used for opiate addiction. It's considered an opiate antagonist. So what it's doing, it's blocking that high feeling. It's blocking the urge for anyone who's got any type of opiate addiction. But what's really interesting and since been studied is when naltrexone is used at low doses, it can have an array of specific benefits. In particular, being beneficial for cancer in dogs, cats, even people. When it's given at these low, low doses, almost a hundredth of the dose, somewhere between 0.5 to 1.5 milligrams, it acts more like an anti-inflammatory agent and it's able to affect cancer cells in multiple different ways. The opiate reversals, like we've used those for years in our animals. I mean, a reversal can be used just to speed up, like so your dog, your cat, so you wanna recover from that opiate sedative much quicker. So point being, like the reversals have been used for years and years and years, lots of documented safety. So we know it's safe to use in our dogs or cats, but to see you could use something at a low dose, be beneficial for cancer, I think that's huge. Exactly how is low dose naltrexone working? And they use it intermittently in cycles, sort of three days on, three days off. They see a marked decrease in cancer cell growth. It actually can stimulate and upregulate the immune system, for instance, stimulating cells such as killer T cells. And those immune cells mean they're attacking some of the cancer cells. The first studies, they came out of Penn State and it was Dr. Ian Zagon and other researchers. They were studying a type of tumor called neuroblastoma. The mice on the low dose naltrexone, they showed a 66% decrease in incidence of ever developing that type of cancer. Of the mice that developed this neuroblastoma, they showed that low dose naltrexone, it slowed tumor growth in 98% of those mice, 98%. There was a study done in 2018 with dogs that had mammary carcinoma, that's breast cancer, and in it they're using chemotherapy, carboplatin, but in combination with low dose naltrexone. The dogs that were on the low dose naltrexone, they had marked or longer survival times. In terms of they responded much better to the chemotherapy, their cancers were more likely to go into a longer state of remission, less likely to have recurrence. But even just while they're on the chemotherapy, while they're getting those toxic drugs, I mean, those owners are measuring these dogs saying they actually seem to be happier. They have seem to have like a better quality of life. And what they found, they've seen success in lymphoma. That can be really hard to treat. Um, and they've seen additional success in some of the soft tissue cancers, like some of the carcinomas, some of the na nasal cancers, some of the oral cancers, things that you know my last dog had, really difficult to treat. It's also being used for other diseases in veterinary medicine. You know, think about chronic pain, or dogs with chronic arthritis, uh, some of the inflammatory diseases, inflammatory bowel disease. So what they're finding is when you give low dose naltrexone in the evening, typically this low dose, it is an opiate antagonist, so it blocks the initial production of endorphin. The body will actually make uh, called something called endorphin stimulating factor, ultimately resulting in more endorphins being produced. And when that happens, that's when you're seeing an array of these different positive benefits. I don't know if you personally have ever had to deal with cancer, or you've ever had family members had cancer, but it's a pretty hard thing to deal with. You know, especially if you're sort of stuck with some type of stage three, stage four cancer, you know, really all your only options, chemotherapy, some pretty nasty side effects. And to know that there could be something as simple as low dose naltrexone added into that, one, just to help ultimately help more endorphins. You're just gonna feel better just going through this whole process. Secondarily, to have all these potential benefits, right? And showing that it can work well in conjunction with chemotherapy, it can help you know, block cancer cell growth, maybe lead to cancer cell death, like ultimately meaning like a much better chance that you're gonna respond to the, that drug, much longer survival time. Like I see a lot of big, big upsides. I don't see much in the way of downsides. I really think it is a good option uh, for many of the cancers our dogs and cats can get. Or your dog has a lymphoma, ask your veterinarian about low dose naltrexone, right? You got a cat with some nasty sarcoma, like a feline fibrosarcoma, like discuss low dose naltrexone with your veterinarian. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets of the Use of Low Dose Naltrexone for Cancer. 
Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.